I'm Robin Costello. I'm from Tampa, Florida, and I am a biology major. I'm looking at how road noise affects orthoptera in communication, and orthoptera is the order of insects that are include crickets and katydids and grasshoppers. So it's like the singing insects, the ones that make noise. So crickets make noise by raising their wings and they have a tooth structure and a file on one wing. So when the tooth structure on one wing goes on the file on the other, it makes the cricket trill noise. And they use that to communicate to females that they're ready to mate. The question I'm asking is how does road noise affect singing insect communication? And so we live in a really urban, noisy environment. And so there's been studies that have looked at how road noise affects other organisms, like birds and frogs, and it affects them differently. So for some, like songbirds, they're losing the low frequency part of their call because road noise is low frequency. So because songbirds learn by listening to other birds, they are losing that low frequency part of their song. But not a lot of information is known about singing insects. So what I did is I went out this summer, I went on a road trip with Laurel Symes, who's a PhD student here who studies cricket speciation, and went out and caught a lot of males and female crickets and male katydids. And I would take the males and put them in different like acoustically isolated environments, and in half of them they would get a recording of road noise where I went to the side of an Ohio road and recorded the cars go by on 4th of July and so half of them would hear that, half of them would be in silence and I would record them for eight hours and then go through the sounds and see is anything about their calling change. And then for the females I would catch them in the field and then put them in this foam rink. They, the female gets put in the center and there's a speaker and the speaker plays a male call. And on top of that male call, there'll be different levels of road noise depending on the trial. And so to see, does the female's time of response change depending on how loud the road noise is. And so what I've found so far is for the females that it doesn't change. The only thing that affects female response time is how loud the male call is. So if it's a louder male call, she'll respond faster. But if you add as much road noise on top of that, it's not going to affect her response. Which kind of makes sense because crickets aren't the only thing that's calling in an environment, so there's like a ton of other insects, other insect species. It's like if you go out in the summer, it's super noisy. So it kind of makes sense that she'd just be able to listen for one particular thing and then respond to that. So row noise doesn't really affect her response time. And for males, it doesn't look like their call characteristics have changed much at all. The one thing that was different between the noise and the quiet treatments is that males are less likely to call at all in the noise treatment than when compared to the quiet treatment. I'm thinking about how that's going to affect their population or just their ability to reproduce. It looks like a female will respond in the same way that she has been for their like entire life history. Um, but that a male, that like fewer males may be calling.